A year later, it was a city in the center of Tornado Alley that was to take the full force of these killers. Today's date is March 28, 2000. Brand new video camera and the third chase of the year. I'm out here north of Winthors, Texas. At three in the afternoon, one of America's most experienced storm chasers, Tim Marshall, was making a video diary as he chased a developing supercell. Time is 610. Uh, mileage is 793 and a half in North Fort Worth. Large wall cloud with tail. Coming on the deck to the west. Fort Worth is in trouble. Tim has been chasing tornadoes for more than 20 years. He knew just when this twister would hit Fort Worth. Here's the, uh, the funnel that is starting to descend. More debris is starting to come on up from the ground. So the tornado formed over here initially, and it took a while to get going, and moved on down to the east here, across the bottom land here, and then on into Fort Worth. We have a tornado, I believe, on the ground. Moving uh, very close to downtown Fort Worth here. Downtown Fort Worth right there, and then the tornado is just right in front of me here. We are getting numerous reports from spotters in the field of a tornado on the ground right near downtown Fort Worth, and I mean inside Fort Worth. People in downtown take shelter immediately and get off the street. It's dark and we have rain wrapping around it. Very difficult to see exactly what's going on. So people need to just duck and stay low here for the next few minutes. By now, calls were flooding into the emergency services. On the 35th floor of the Bank One Tower, security cameras in the Rieta restaurant captured the moment of a tornado strike. What was once Fort Worth's most fashionable eatery was swept clean by the wind. Restaurateur Michael Evans watched the horror unfold. I went into the dining room and saw a horrific sight outside, a total black mass. That was the start of a, of a horrible night. So I started asking people, you know, that were sitting down eating to, you know, make their way towards the center of the restaurant or at least get away from the windows. You could see the transformers blowing and they would get closer and closer to us. The chandelier up here kind of swings sometimes when we have a bad storm, uh, but I mean it was swinging back and forth, you know, two or three feet. And at that point, the windows were probably moving in and out, probably a good foot, just moving in and out. It was a, it was a really uh, ominous sound. More than a hundred diners and staff were running to the stairwell when, at 6:23 p.m., the tornado struck. And the windows kind of just went all at once. <laughs> It sounded like a 747 in your bathroom. That's when all the glass blew in. Just louder than, than you could ever imagine. As the windows blew in, we were all trying to shove ourselves into the stairwell. I mean, the wind was really loud. know if the building was actually starting to sway but I started to get you know a little dizzy and that kind of freaked me out because I was scared the building was gonna fall down we're standing in the proximity of where the two luckiest gentlemen in the restaurant were standing when the when the back walls blew out uh, the uh, uh, a manager had come in and it was filmed from that video and the two guys literally getting to that hallway there as the wall and the thousand pound freezers just explode through the kitchen.
Another waiter and I uh, ducked into the office, crouched underneath the desk, and maybe 10 seconds later, it, it, nothing. It was just silence. And then we came out, and it, it was just destroyed. My wife's car got caught in the hailstorm and was totaled. My house got hit by the tornado. <laughs> so 2000 can only get better. It's downtown Fort Worth. Looks like the tornado went through there. Tons of debris yes, everywhere. Sir, look at this. Wow. Holy cow. There's glass falling out of the large skyscrapers. This is a disaster. The wind is pulling large shards of glass off this building. It's extremely dangerous. An estimated 3,000 windows were shattered. Glass was still falling days later, and buildings had to be checked for structural damage.